Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Carrie, and I have a little day after Halloween haul for you guys. It's not very big, but I just wanted to show you some cool goodies I found. First of all, I never knew that Spirit Halloween did any sales after Halloween was over. I thought they legit just packed up their stuff and put it away to put out full price again next year, but they did have stuff on sale. They had costumes for 50% off and then everything else basically accessories and stuff were 25% off so first thing I got actually I should have shown you this first it's a really cute little cat choker necklace and it's got a bell on it and I thought it was so fun I pretty much go as a cat every year because I'm too lazy to buy an actual costume not lazy more cheap but I lost my favorite pair of cat ears I, last I saw them was when I went with my friends to the Bronx Zoo a couple weekends ago I have no idea what the hell I did with them I got another pair and they do in a pinch but I really want to find my other fuzzy cat ears but I got this cat choker like I said to go with it it's like pleather and it's got the little bell and then it's just velcro on the back it was $4.99 originally priced so with the discount it was $3.74 and then I got this Sam from trick-or-treat this big sticker it actually says it's removable removable decorative decal for any smooth surface so I don't know if he's gonna go on my laptop or where he's gonna go yet but I love Sam I'm actually wearing Sam leggings right now these were a gift from my friend Mary it's kind of a side view but yeah I love these so um sam is just one of my favorite characters from a halloween movie so i got that that was the only sam thing i saw besides his lollipop accessory which was ten dollars so it still would have been 750 which is a little pricey for me unless i was doing a whole sam outfit and then they had sam uh treat bags that just looked like the sack kind of like the sack that's on his head and they were like 12.99 so i was like nope too cheap i'm too cheap not that they're too cheap but then we went to Walmart, and this morning my husband and I picked up some candy. I don't have that in this haul, but my mom and I went to another Walmart, and I found some really, really, really cool Halloween accessories, and they were so cheap, you guys. First thing I got were these amazing car coasters. As you can see, they are two Halloween stone coasters, absorbs moisture from spills, fits most automobile cup holders, everything Halloween at Walmart was 50% off, so these were 99 cents. It's more booze, please, but spelled B-O-O-S with the ghost, and then this pink one, Drink Up Witches, and these are great for all year rounds, because I just love the Halloween spirit and, like, creepy, kooky, spoopy, you know, kawaii fun stuff, so I loved these. There was another set, too. I almost bought those as a backup, and I might still if I find them again, but yeah, they're really, really cute, and for a buck, how can you go wrong? Everything I got at Walmart was a dollar, by the way, each item. Then I found this set of notepads. You get this big one in the back, and it's got a cat, cat, catus. That's hard to say. Cat, 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 catus. I don't know. It's weird the way they wrote it. C A T C T U S. So it's like cat, catus. I don't know. A meow maid and a black cat. And then at the bottom, it has the pirate cat robo cat and super cat and i love that they spelled it like purr and then you get the medium size notepad that says i'm a cat duh and it reminds me of like um i'm a mouse duh from uh mean girls and then you get the pirate robo and super at the bottom and then you get this three pack of the little post-it type strip ones and this one has a catacorn, astro cat, and ninja cat. And again, $1.98, so it was 99 cents. Score! I need more paper like a hole in my head, but seriously, for that price. And then this one I got, it has, um, actually I'm wondering if this one was supposed to have six baby cat pads. Because this one has six baby um skull ones but anyway in the back you get this cool skull with the bandana just total spoopy cuteness and at the bottom it has eh, this kind of skull and then this one has the same skull on here the medium-sized paper but then it at the top says dead cute and it's so adorable and then you get these 
two sets of three each of the little strip pads and there's dead cute in memory of when I cared I love this and dead inside they're so freaking adorable and yet again a dollar 98 so they were 99 cents I'm gonna use these in my junk journal especially the little strips and I'm gonna cut out the words and do all kinds of funsy stuff with that and then the last but not least I was so stoked this is probably the best thing I found for a dollar 98 again two Halloween enamel pins for a dollar it's this awesome gold moon and crazy cat lady and I'm obsessed with them I think they're so cool they are soft enamel they're not hard enamel because I can feel like texture in them I'm, I'm starting to learn the difference between hard and soft enamel with pins but um, I think they're so 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 cute and again, for a buck for two, how could you possibly beat that? Actually, technically 99 cents for two. So that is it for that. And then I'm just going to add this in the same video. I hauled these two little guys at the Dollar Tree. They're not Halloween. They were just super funsies. They are exploding kittens. And I got one of these blind bags from, I think, my friend Billy Ann one time. There is a bonus card for an unfair advantage in, at Exploding Kittens. So it's a game, I guess, a card game. But in the pack, you get a um, backpack hanger. And there are nine to collect. You can get Grenade Kitten, Taco Cat, Dynamite Kitten, Caterwalky, trying to show him to you, sort of. Uh, Catermelon, which is the one I got in the pack from Billy Ann. Uh, Rainbow Ralph and Cat. Can you guys tell that that's the one I want? I mean, if you know me at all, I love rainbows. I would love to get that one. The Zombie Cat. The Hairy Potato Cat. He's not just a potato cat. He's a hairy potato cat. And a Pigacorn, because that, I guess, has something to do with the game, because it's clearly not a cat. So I felt them as best I could. They're inside plastic, inside the bag. So um, it's not like I could give them a really good grope. Um, let's see. I think I'm going to have to just pause to cut these tear strips and then we will open them right up. Hold on a sec. I think I said cut these tear strips, didn't I? I meant cut them because they don't have tear strips. But anyway, so let's see who we got. As long as they're not dupes, I will be happy. All right. This one is the grenade kitten or is it grenade cat? Um, grenade kitten really cute they come with these little clippy things eh, let's get him out of here and they're these are like substantial they're hard and they're um kind of heavy so they're they're not like chintzy cheaply made things i don't know why they end up at the dollar tree but score for me and anyone else who is a cat lover or collector of things to dangle off bags but yeah he's pretty cool i'm kind of digging him so that is the grenade kitten and then there is a card in the bottom. So I have to find out what the deal is with this Exploding Kittens game. It says bonus starter card. And of course it's taped in there because, you know, I'm working with one hand. So why would anything be simple? Okay, let's see. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, I just want to see what this card looks like. We don't necessarily have to look at both cards. See the future. Privately view the top card of the draw pile. Um, get relationship advice from a sloth. You two should take it slow. I have no idea what this means because I don't know anything about the Exploding Kittens game. But if you do, feel free to leave comments down below and fill me in. It's a cute card. If nothing else, I can put it in my junk journal, I suppose. Oh, it's like textured too. It's like fancy. Can you tell? Yeah, you can kind of see it's like textured. That's neat. Hmm, cool. Okay. So for a buck, to get a keychain and a um a card, that's not bad. So let's just do this last one. So we can keep this video pretty short. And please do not be grenade. <gasps> Shut up, I got the Ralph and Cat! Yes! Oh my gosh, yes, yes, yes. I felt something that felt like maybe it could have been the rainbow, but I wasn't sure. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at the eyes are even rainbow. Stop. Oh, this is so stinking adorable. Oh, I was so, so, so hoping to get this one. Like the hooky thing is like stuck on his tail. Oh my God, I love this. And there's this Ralph and Kitten or Ralph and Cat, I forget. Ra uh, rainbow Ralph and Cat. Oh my God, that's so the one I wanted. I'm so stoked. Yay. And then this is like not 
closed right now, but I guess, yeah, you just kind of sort of push it like this and eh, it's hard to do with one hand, but you can just kind of pop that little thing into the slot there and then squeeze it. There it goes. And I think it's going to hold pretty securely once it's closed, but oh my gosh, I really wanted this one. This is a little bit flexible, but I don't think I'll, hopefully I won't break it. I just wish it continued down to blue. Even if you don't want, don't want to do like purple and stuff, do red, orange, yellow, green, blue. That would have made me even happier. But you know what? I shall live. And then this card actually goes with the rainbow. I See, I thought that my one the, for my catermelon also had a catermelon card in it. So I'm really surprised that that other one has that weird random sloth to go with the, um, the grenade kitten. But yeah, this one is Rainbow Ralph and Cat. Add this extra card to your starting hand to be in with an advantage. Rainbow Ralph and Cat bonus edition. That is so stinking adorable. Oh my gosh. I'm so stoked because I generally, genuinely, gen, okay, generally, genuinely and generally do not have the luck of like being able to grow bags that well and find the one I want. So I'm really, really excited. I just kind of felt them up a little bit because again, with these plastic things, it's really kind of hard to tell, but I could have sworn I felt something that could have been that rainbow and I was so hoping, but I wasn't sure. So yay, I am so stoked. So for one, two, three, four, five, six dollars i got all those goodies and then these here again were a little pricier but oh i forgot to tell you which was weird because it said the accessories were 25 percent off at spirit this did come up at 25 percent off of the five dollars it was 374 but then for some reason the sam sticker that was marked at 299 it, as you can see here it says buy one get 50 percent off so it was only a dollar 49 so for some reason he was 50 percent off and i almost didn't get him because i'm like oh my god what am i going to do with this ginormous sam sticker but i love him and for a dollar 50 he was well worth it i think this is like a really good sticker like super good quality and it's says it's removable so he'll probably end up like I said on my laptop or someplace cool like that where I can see him often but yeah so all together so that cost um with tax that was 568 so round up to six so six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve dollars and look at all the good shit I got. I am so excited, you guys. So I would definitely say get to Spirit and Walmart soon. I don't know what these are going to be like in terms of finding a Dollar Tree. You guys know how Dollar Trees roll. You'll find it one day. You'll never see it again. The ones in New York may get it. The ones in California may never get it and vice versa. But if that's something you're interested in, these exploding kittens, I would say definitely look sooner rather than later. They had a ton at my store, but I said, I can't go crazy crazy. Yeah. If you look at my doors of my closet, you can see there are more than enough freaking keychains on there to last a lifetime. And I have more besides that. So I really, truly did not need additional ones. But I'm super, super, super stoked with this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope you guys had a really great Halloween. Mine was pretty uneventful. I stayed home with my husband and my mom. Um, Brian and I watched some horror movies. I actually completed the Horror Hound 31 Days of October or Halloween Challenge, whatever it was called, where you had to watch a certain movie every day or pick a certain movie that was in a certain category every day. Like, say, one day would be you have to watch a zombie movie. One day would be you have to watch... Um, the first horror movie you ever saw, you know, or ever remember seeing as a child. And then there were certain days like yesterday, everybody just got to watch Trick or Treat, which of course is a fabulous movie. And being the Sam lover that I am, I was super happy to watch that. And we watched a couple more too. We watched um, Tales of Halloween again, which I highly recommend. I was in the um, Halloween anthology movie mode and there are five people in that movie that are, we have met at different conventions over the years, including my good pal, Felissa Rose. So that was really fun to watch again. Um, I watched most of Halloween 6, which, again, has a lot of cast members that we've met. 
several of whom have become really good friends of mine. So that's always fun to watch. I literally went down to, to watch uh, to wait for trick or treaters with my mom and flipped to AMC. And I was like, oh, my God, Halloween six. Yay. I get to see Marianne and Justine. Although I love a few members of the cast besides them. They're my girls. I love them so much. And um, then we watched some horror documentaries on the Reels channel. There was like um, the true story behind The Conjuring, the true story behind um, Silence of the Lambs. Spoiler alert, it was all about Ted Bundy. It had nothing to do with Silence of the Lambs. There's like one scene in Silence that even remotely relates to Ted Bundy as far as I'm concerned. And that's my favorite movie in life. So I was super disappointed with that one. And then... Um, we watched one about Stephen King, and my mom was like, I don't know how you watch this scary stuff. I'm getting a headache when we were watching Halloween 6. I'm like, I don't know how a horror movie gives you a headache, but after that, that's why we flipped to Docs afterwards so she wouldn't be so scared. Um, and I just gave out candy to trick-or-treaters, which was a lot of fun. We had quite a few this year, which was nice because we haven't in the past few, so it was it was cool. Definitely Disney were the most popular costumes this year. We had a couple Simbas. We had lots of Disney princesses, lots of Toy Story member, uh, you know, characters. Um, my favorite costume that I saw of the night, though, was a little girl who was dressed as a rainbow unicorn butterfly fairy. And I was like, girl, you are the bomb. I literally told her, I said, you have my favorite costume of the night. Although a very close second was a little boy who was probably no more than eight or nine that came up with a leather face mask and a chainsaw and the chainsaw actually Actually, like made revving sounds I was like dude you are the coolest thing ever <laughs> so that was really fun too but anyway rambles 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 this is my haul but I hope you guys had a happy Halloween and I will be back soon with more stuff and rabbit rabbit happy November bye guys <laughs>